Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, where we are going to do the icy speedway, fight Gulp, and then... Uh... I'm probably gonna beeline into learning my head bash move so I can backtrack to the levels that I needed to use that in. Uh, bleh. Okay. So we've got, uh, kite, uh, dudes, but I'm not going the most efficient path. I have to have been going backwards in order to hit them efficiently. But, um, wait, are there only, there are only four of them on that part of the loop. I see. So it's actually separate groups this time instead of having all eight things in a convenient lineup. So, I'll take the four kite guys and then start doing archers because that lines up nicely. Also, look at the little Loch Ness monster serpents just chilling out in the water. Well, there's a couple. There was only one, like, notable one that we passed, though. And by the time I said to look at it, we had passed it. Okay. Ice skaters. Look at them. They're just chilling. Um... Man, these ice skaters are really spread out. I think, oh, maybe it would have been a more efficient idea after doing archers to take a hard turn left to get those guys. But then what? Hang on. Are the Loch Ness Monster Serpents one of the collectibles? Yes, the serpents are one of the things I need to hit. And I just, my brain did not register that. Okay, so these four tight dudes, then the archers, I forgot about the fourth guy. I don't know why I forgot about the fourth guy. But yes, archers, hard left, hit some of the ice skaters and the serpents. Um... Then... what? Hmm... I don't know where the other four uh, kite surfers are. Oh, but the last of the archers was facing that way. So maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's those two ice skaters, serpents, more ice skaters, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And, yep. Come on now. At least I didn't screw up gliding after running into the dude head first. Wait. Oh, uh, I have to, I have to hit the ones on the snowmobiles that were pulling the ice skaters. But also I have more than enough time to do so. 28 seconds to spare? Okay, time to go back in, find a hidden person to do a hunter challenge. And then, what's the skill point speed? Skill point for Icy Speedway, also 115. Gotcha. Now, if I were a hidden person in this level, where would I be? Well, um, I found Hunter. Hello. Good job, Spyro. 
Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. Yeah. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Sure. Great. I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Got it. Fly through the rings? Not a problem. I see. I only have left and right movement. But left and right movement is more than enough. Oh, this is easy. This is just trouble with the trolley, but easier. <laughs> sure, I've nearly missed a couple. But, uh, no. I'm doing pretty well, I would say. Oh, come on. Hey, I heard you were good. Great. Sure. Okay, now we're back roughly where we left off. And easy does it through the last three. Ugh. Way to go, Spyro. You're even better than I am. I'm sure I am. <sighs> and with that orb in tow, now I've gotta beat this speedway in 115. Okay, so, should be easy enough getting the first four dudes, and then flying through gates, or arches, words, I know them, and through here, ugh, that's fine. Get these two dudes. Can't believe I goofed that. And yeah, and yeah. Great, love that. I'm sure that I'll make it. I'm sure it isn't that tight of a time limit, as long as I have the correct route in mind. And as long as I don't hit the ground twice like that, this is fine. This is fine. Minute 15, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. I have the... I swear I have the skill to do this. Hell, the run where I got it all done the first time probably took less than 115. All I have to do is that again. And how hard could that be? Surely not as hard as I'm making it out to be by failing over and over. And... yep. And... Ah, fuck. How hard could this really be? I mean, I get the feeling the first time that I actually got all of them was probably less than 115. Like, all I have to do is that again. And yet, I keep finding new ways to stumble in places where I really shouldn't be stumbling. Whatever. Get that one done. Landing is fine, as long as I get that dude. Hit the serpents. And yeah, yeah, and yeah. For a second I thought I... What is wrong with me? How am I actively getting worse? You'd think I'd be able to muscle memory it at this point. But no. What the- 
As if I hit the top of the arch and nearly just lost all momentum there. That's absurd. Look, landing here is fine as long as I got that second guy with my charge, which I'm glad I did. And yep. Come on! Uh, and then I forgot that guy again. Of course I did. Come on now. And get this guy, turn right, get this guy, and that guy. Better. Much, much better. Get the last of the serpents. Get the last of the ice skaters. And charge the opposite direction of the snowmobiles. And easily, easily under 115. Skill point gotten. No, I would not like to try again. Thank you, game. You know, I probably could have gotten under 110 if I did just keep charging the snowmobiles instead of stopping to make sure I was being safe about it. What? Well done, no, Spyro. no, Alora. No, not, not right now. There's some things I have to check. Because I'm missing gems in this world and don't know how to get up to them. They appear to be on the roof. But, um, don't know how I get up. How did I miss that whirlwind? Okay. Sure, I guess. But Well done, Spyro. Fine, Alora, I'll fight the guy. Bring bring him on. He's in he's down here. There's probably a skill point for doing the fight perfectly. No you haven't. You've made a very small portion of Avalar yours. What is it, boy? Oh the fairy. Here you go. Uh, nope. I'm not letting you eat my friend, thank you. You singed my cape! Yeah, that was the plan. Starting to. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that dude eat me. Can't. I've got to do a perfect boss fight for a skill point. Probably. Go. Okay, go. Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you need. Okay, so flaming him didn't work. There are these eggs being dropped into the arena. And metal barrels. Metal barrels that explode. I see. Dodge Gulp's charge, lead him into the explosive. Not lead him into the explosive barrels. I'm gonna have to wait for one to hatch and then hit it. Take the bull by the horns, as it were. Whoa, um. Okay, gotta be careful about those, I guess. Ow! Never mind, that seemingly homed in on me. That or I just happened to charge into perfectly the wrong place, which I think I might have. Okay. Flame the bomb and they move towards him as well as being... It. I think one of the shots aims to intercept me, and that's the whole thing with that. Yes, I'd like that help, but 
Can one of you drop a bomb, please? Oh, firework. Wait, I spit firework? Okay. Getting perfect on this fight seems like it's going to be harder than, um, the previous one, just because of, uh, the combination of mechanics at play here. Him firing shots that specifically intercept me. And having to, you know, wait for my chance to actually attack him back. Yeah, this is gonna be a much harder fight to get perfect on. And... Oh, never mind. Oh, he ate that. Whoa! Okay, that's near. Okay, I ran into him as well as shooting him there. I might actually die on this fight. That's upsetting. Oh, it's just more health. Oh, come on. Just the fact that the shots intercept is the worst. That bomb hit me from there. The, the bomb that I failed to send in his direction hit me from a much greater distance than I would have ever expected it to. No- Oh, come on! Your charge should have been stopped by the bomb blowing up in your face, dude. Hold up. I think I just realized something. The wall patterns. This wall is textured differently. Ah, and that's how I get up here. Well. Now I know how to get up here. Guess I can finish off this home world before attempting to fight Gulp again. <sighs> it's not even like it's the hardest fight in the world or anything, but it's definitely going to be more of a challenge to do it without being hit. Um. Let's see. Must be other places I can reach from up here. Spark says there's gems down and to the right. Um, not sure I can land over there, buddy. I mean, I might be able to, but see sparkles from over there. Hmm. It's a long glide, but easily makeable for an orb. Nice. That's one of the two in this level. And yep. Can run along this wall, see if there's anything I've missed up here. Hmm. I mean, missed. 
is a strong word since I hadn't been up here yet. Hmm. This might get me around to, yeah, the gems Sparks was pointing at before. And that's all the gems. But there is an orb that I'm missing. Which is strange. Where would an orb be missing in the overworld that I just haven't been able to find? God, am I really that stupid? I am. That was an even more noticeable broken texture than the one inside. The one inside was just the fact the bricks were coloured in instead of marble white. This one, there was a frickin' archway outlined. B with a... Ah, I'm a fool. Hold on. There are two skill points for, um, Gulp's Overlook. One of which is to hit Ripto during the fight. Huh. I'm glad that I looked at that page again before going back in here. Go. I, I feel like hitting Ripto is going to be easier than perfecting the fight, though. Ah, well, we'll see. I... Yeah. Ow? How the fuck was I not fast enough to... Okay, that... that one's on me. I just wasn't paying attention to him because I wanted to do the hit Ripto thing. Camera! Camera, what are you doing? It's automatically focusing on gulp. It's actually straight up turning around on me. Please don't do that. Hitting... Hitting the metal barrel there actually stopped my charge to escape gulp. Uh, come on! Camera! This sucks. The camera automatically turns to face Gulp. And that isn't exactly conducive to trying to hit Ripto. Is, th is there an option to camera not luck? Camera, passive, active. Even when it's active, it's still auto-focusing on Gulp. Fuck me. That's really bad for getting this skill point. Come on, tell me that hit him. It didn't. Maybe the metal barrels aren't capable of hitting Ripto, and I need to use one of the bombs from later. But, uh, active or passive camera doesn't seem to matter. It's... Thanks. Appreciate that. My best chance at hitting Ripto is gonna be when, uh, the rockets start spawning. Because for some reason, they're an edible projectile instead of the usual, um, just flame them rockets. Nope, nope. When he starts firing four of those, they're going to be a much bigger pain to avoid. But, bomb, flame. There we go. Nope, nope. I am lucky to have avoided those shots. Nope. Next up, rocket. Thank you. Oh, come on. Oh well. At least I can hit Ripto. 
And I may as well die on this attempt in order to perfect it. But perf doing this fight perfectly feels like it's going to be just such a pain compared to <clears throat> previous boss. More useful if I actually hit it. Ah, oh, come on! Walking into him damage. That's actually very good for me. Getting the barrel and the um, rocket right next to each other like that. Because uh, when he stomps after you hit him, shit. It destroys any of the uh, projectiles left lying around. But because I had that rocket in my mouth, it didn't get destroyed. Now that I've gotten him this close... Why? Why did that go... It's because I was running forward and then turned right. He had fired it before I started turning. So when I turned back left, I ran into it. A lot of time later. I'm on attempt, like, 13. And I just got hit by something new. Or something I at least didn't notice the first time I was down to this point. When he has two hits left, he fires six shots of his intercepting energy instead of two or four. God damn it. Even more time later. I'm going to fucking scream. So, um, as, as we know, in the later phases, if Gulp happens to be nearby one of the things I have to use to beat him, he can eat them and use them to do an attack of his own. The... The barrels, he eats them, he can do a stomp attack, it's a shockwave, it's not a problem. When he eats a rocket, it homes in on you. I thought it just fired in a straight line, but luckily, as I dodged, I did see it was following me. And then it went off camera, so I assumed, okay, I have successfully dodged its homing ability. Nope, it just keeps fucking going. Ugh. Eventually. Holy shit. I have just been handed God R RNG. Until I, you know, somehow didn't pick up the second rocket and it exploded next to me instead. I was handed God RNG. And then, I went and screwed it up. I was in the clear to just do it. But no, it took a little bit of actual skill. God damn. Two game overs. Meaning I used just over 30 lives on that, and one and a half hours. It sure is. Yeah, I just knocked him off the building. Are they though? What about... What about the breeze builders and land blubbers? We really wanted to do something nice for you. This isn't the end of the game, but I hope you like it. Oh wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, yeah. No. I'd like to. 
But I've got to go check on the professor yeah. in the winter tundra. He's uh, still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Right. That sounds Okay. Yeah, game's uh, totally over. This I is it. Just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Yeah. Yep. Instant sleep. Vacation done. Uh-huh. Hey, what? where did Laura go? I better follow her. She just told you she had to go to the winter tundra to help the professor, but Okay. Uh, yeah. Man, I can imagine how long it'd take a dedicated child to get that skill point. Doing that in the 90s? I think yeah, I, me come up with it's one of those things. The dragon worlds from the super portal. Oh this really? Crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Right. Just a few more calculations to set it up. Mm -hmm. I think I have it. Excellent. Right. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot you... more orbs, but with yep. the power crystal boosting it, you need a lot of orbs. Guess who has basically all the oh, orbs oh. he could collect to this point? Oh no. Oh. You not that power crystal ribbon. that's needed to get me well, home. I'm afraid not. I persuaded Dang. that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Really, money bags? This is why you don't be capitalist. You end up arms dealing to the guy attempting to rule over your whole group of worlds. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something yeah. quick. Uh, hey, give that back. Good job, Hunter. You tried. Well, I tried. <laughs> Not very hard, you but he did. Fools. After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia. No, you're not. I'll beat you before that happens. And he kicked money bags out again. Why does money bags? sell this guy things when he constantly gets knocked off of buildings because of him. Ah oh, well, I guess that's something we'll have to figure out in the next episode. Bye.